Democratic Governor Roy Cooper is not planning to raise your taxes. However, Republicans say cutting them should be the number one priority. Cooper laid out today how he wants to spend billions of dollars of your tax money. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh to break down how these plans would affect you. And yeah, the governor is calling for pay raises and bonuses for state employees and to expand health coverage for hundreds of thousands more people in the state. But he and Republicans here in the General Assembly have struggled to compromise. As North Carolina grapples with the COVID-19 pandemic, this is the time to find opportunity in crisis. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper announced his budget plan for the next two years Wednesday, how the state would spend almost $56 billion. He's not calling for any tax increases. He does want to give pay raises and bonuses to state employees and wants to expand Medicaid. It's been a priority for him to provide health care coverage to hundreds of thousands more people, but Republicans in the General Assembly have resisted, citing costs. The people of North Carolina elected us again. So we're back in the same situation that we were, and we owe it to them to do the best that we can to find a path forward. The number one thing we should do is reduce taxes. Republican Senator Paul Newton said North Carolina has done better than many other states during the pandemic. There's even about $5 billion in unspent money. Newton wants to cut the income tax rate for everyone, increase the standard deduction, which means more low income people would pay no state income tax, and cut corporate taxes. Recovery involves providing resources uh, to spend, and this tax cut would do that. I asked Cooper if he's open to that. I think we can find some areas of negotiations in, in cutting taxes for people. Uh, we would rather help people who are on the margins and the middle class. This fall, Cooper also wants voters to approve a $4.7 billion bond package that would go toward helping to build schools and other things. But the elections could end up getting pushed off until next year because of delays with getting data from the Census Bureau. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.